Every year, turtles get hit by cars and are injured and then taken to wildlife veterinarians who can treat them. Just like my friend R2-D2 here who was hit by a car over 10 years ago. Today, we're going to learn what we can do to help save turtles before they need to be rehabilitated. Turtles cross roads for all different kinds of reasons, sometimes to find a place to lay their eggs, maybe a water source, maybe a food source, or maybe just to, you know, see what's on the other side. In a nutshell, if you see a turtle crossing the road, pick the turtle up and carry it in the direction the turtle was walking or headed. Just set it down and say, bye bye So why not move a turtle to a nice, beautiful park down the road? Well, turtles live in a pretty small area their entire life. And in this area, scientists have determined that they know, the turtles know, where the food sources are, where the water sources are, where the places to go when it's really hot or really cold are. And if we move the turtle to a place that's not part of their normal range, they don't do very well. So why not just take a turtle home to keep it as a pet that you found crossing the road? Well, for one thing, in most jurisdictions, it's illegal to take any wildlife home. Just, you know, not supposed to do that. Number two, well, turtles are very slow at reproduction. So every turtle is key to the entire population. Every turtle matters. If you take one home, it could have negative effects for the entire population of turtles. And possibly most importantly, turtles require very specialized care. They're not great impulse pets. And not only that, if you do take care of them just the right way, they live over 50 years. That's a long-term commitment, not something that you just want to grab off the road and take home. So how exactly do you move the turtle now that you've seen the turtle in the middle of the road? Okay, first of all, don't just run into the road. You need to look both ways so that you don't end up needing rehabilitation. So if it's safe for you to go into the road, go ahead and walk out there and just very carefully slide one hand kind of underneath the shell and then just pick the turtle up and hold them so you're supporting the turtle completely. Walk the turtle in the direction the turtle was walking. Do keep in mind that turtles can carry salmonella even if they look fine. So it's just a really good idea to wash your hands after touching a turtle. If you see a big turtle or a turtle you think is a snapping turtle, what you want to do is find like a shovel or something kind of long that you could use to gently prod the turtle to continue across the road in the direction that it was headed. If you see a turtle get hit by a car or you find a turtle with a broken shell or is bleeding, it's time to take the turtle to a veterinarian that treats wildlife. To transport an injured turtle, you want to choose a clean, escape-proof container and put newspaper or paper towels in the bottom. No grass, no leaves, no dirt. We don't want anything to get dirty on the injury of the turtle. And you also don't want to feed or give the turtle water. Just get the turtle to the veterinarian as soon as you possibly can. And now you know what to do when you see a turtle crossing the road. <laughs>